Oh man, that's loud. And jumping in between anime and games, it's really bizarre. Anime is so much louder than games for whatever reason. I always have to adjust my volume. Okay, welcome. Return to Resident Evil 4. Man, I am so angry that I did not get to um, play this yesterday. I, I was I was just so tired all day long. All right. Oops. I had to turn that down. There we go. All right. All right, last time on Resident Evil 4. This is definitely one of those cutscenes that have aged quite a bit. I'm sure it was mind blowing back in the day, but these days it's uh, nothing special. But again, it still suits the uh, the feel the game is going for. When you get right down to it, all modern games have are like the visual effects, so it's really not saying a whole lot that this game uh, doesn't have nearly as nice. It's been six hours since our last transmission. I'm starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Oh, no, he's already trying to go for it. You feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. I'm all right now. I'm going to continue my mission. She didn't sound too worried that I hadn't contacted her in six hours. So Lewis left probably left that note, but uh, and was it Lewis or um, Ada? It, honestly, I, I'm not entirely sure. One of the weird things about this game is that like it's kind of uh, ambiguous about stuff like that. All right, it, it's kind of nice too, but uh, all right, now we got to go save Ashley. We'll probably manage to do that today. I, I'm not sure how far we're gonna get, but uh, we are definitely. Definitely gonna get, um, definitely gonna get Ashley. It's not that far. So is the, uh, I don't know why you would go back and encounter the wolves if, uh, you don't actually need to fight the wolves. It's like, like maybe if you've got, if you didn't get the treasure, you would go back, but uh, I don't I don't understand. Uh, here we go. Got some rare. What are you buying? All right. Uh, let's see. Rifle, rocket launcher, scope. I don't even have a rifle yet. I, I tend to not buy rifles until the uh, until you need them in the castle. I mean, what's the point, right? Uh, hang on. Shit, really? I'm, uh, really overflowing here. Uh... Can I just load the... Uh, hang on. I guess I could get rid of the hand grenade... The incendiary grenades. I don't really care for them too much. I mean, I, I'll use them if I have nothing else, but other than that... I guess they're the go-to thing to get rid of. Hang on. Oh, why did this guy why is this guy selling you treasure maps for things that you can sell to him? Why can't he just come up here and, and get the things himself? Like what's what's the purpose of it? Everything about the merchant makes no sense. It's like video gamey to its core. Like it doesn't serve any real purpose in the plot. It, he's just there for gameplay reasons, and it's great. Uh, again, you can set. You should be willing to sacrifice uh, the narrative 
uh, realism for uh, the game itself. What the fuck? Holy shit. I don't think I've ever done this. Alright, so th this is how he gets in. Alright. I don't think I've ever realized that was there. Alright. So wait, who pushed these boxes so they're in the way if that's how he gets in? Uh, whatever. Uh, Alright, I think that's everything I needed there. Yep. Alright, so I guess we move on. So El Gigante is coming up next um, in the waterfall segment. Oh, and Las Plagas. You actually do. Um, you don't see Las Plagas in uh, Chapter 1, which is kind of interesting since it's kind of a mainstay for the rest of the game. But uh, I believe we see it in the next room, actually. Yep, it's Las Plagas. This is uh, what's infecting the villagers, making them act this way. They can take quite a few hits, so. It's a good idea to just. Keep them at a distance, because they're pretty threatening at close range. Uh, let's see here. Alright. Should I use this thing? I might as well. The game is really, really good at keeping uh, things interesting. We're still in the village, but, like, this is a part of it we haven't seen before. It's not even really a residential area. It's more like a... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what this is. Some kind of water wheel, some dam, uh, uh, the dam, uh, the river. Like, it, it's, it's a different setting than I think you would see in most horror games. Well, I suppose this isn't really a horror game, but you know what I mean. Alright, I think what you do is... You're supposed to swing the, swing around this uh, water wheel, but I... This thing... Oh, or, or can you just shoot it? Okay, no, it's spinning around on its own. Okay. You don't need to... Alright. Conveniently, despite the fact it's moving around, it just happens to always land it in the exact, exact spot you need to to cross it. How do they cross it when, um... When you're not... They're not using the boxes. Like, ugh. Again, it... This is just one of those games where <laughs> there are problems like that everywhere, and it's great. Oof. Let me see here. Yep. Yeah, this is... Okay, so I, 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 I had this confused with... Okay, so you move it to open up the cave behind the waterfall. Okay. This is kind of a neat idea, but it doesn't lead anywhere interesting. It basically just leads you back to where you've been before. 
So really, honestly, I think you technically can just walk back. Like, I don't think there's anything stopping you, really. I, I just tend not to, because there's no point. I've never tried it. Maybe I'll do that in another playthrough. Is that possible to just walk back to the church? Oh no, because you need the because uh, you need the important item behind the falls. Okay. Again, that just raises the question of where the uh, that just raises the question of why why. Uh, Oops, ah, shit. Hang on. I don't think I've ever done this before. I don't remember ever being surrounded by these guys uh, in this part of the game. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. Alright. It's interesting. Uh, you'll always run into different things, no matter what you do. Because like, they kind of rushed me there. Alright, here we go. Kick him. There we go. Yeah, I have plenty of fish, so I I should probably just eat them so I empty up my uh, inventory. I why didn't I just eat the biggest one? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so you have to get back here, get the item, and then move on. Hang on. Did I get the, the treasure? Yeah, I did. It was that thing. All right. So you have to go around, get to this door, and then go through this... Like, it's so convoluted. Just hide it in, like, I, I don't know. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. All right. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. That's right. Ashley is coming up. We're going to meet Ashley, the most um, overhated video game character of all time, I think. I, I can't think of another character, besides maybe Navi, who uh, people seem to hate for, like, no reason. I... I am perfectly fond of Ashley. Like, I, I find it refreshing how you're supposed to protect a girl who's not a love interest. Uh, and I think she's a reasonably um, entertaining character. Like, I don't want to say she's, like, spectacular or anything, but uh, I don't understand the hate people have for her. Like, she's perfectly likable. Like, you want to save her because it's your job, you know? Like, you don't need anything more than that. What are you um, I've never seen anybody waifu her, waifu her either, so that's kind of nice. She's just an ordinary girl that you have to rescue because of uh, who she is. People always make fun of like Leon and and, and things like that, but but like really, is that really such a? terrible thing to yell someone's name. I just, I, I don't understand. Here's Gigante! I remember seeing this thing on the back of the, the box for the GameCube version, and I was just blown away by it. Like, whoa, this is, this is something you fight in the game? I'm not entirely sure how these things, uh, how these things were made, but okay, uh, apparently they exist. That awkward front kick he does is hilarious. Ah, worthy opponent. He can do a backflip. All right. It's been a while since I fought this thing. I'm kind of... I'm not entirely... I actually don't remember how difficult this is. I'm wondering if... Uh, here we go. Yep, see? There we go. Hey, One of the top ten dogs in video games. 
He shows up for this boss fight and uh, fucks off to do who knows what. Um, kind of a kind of a shame um, that Leon doesn't get a dog after this. Like that, that's what I would have done. Like make the dog canon. Like just have Leon have the dog going forward. Like name it Ada. I I, I don't know. Like just. I don't know, like, you should have kept the dog. You should have been a serious mainstay. Honestly, like, I, I, I do feel like, um... A lot of these, um... One of the, one of the strong points of RE4 oops, is that, uh... It, it, do, it doesn't really use a lot of established RE characters and concepts. Like, it's really its own thing, and I think it's really great for uh, getting people into the series, and, uh... While doing its own thing, like, different than the other, than the other games, um... Like, Lewis actually dies in this. Like, I, I can't imagine them ever killing off, like, Chris, Jill, or Ada. But they, they killed off, um... Did I get him? Oh, shit, no. How did I get him? Shit, I am running out of bullets. Wow. <sighs> like, they're, they're... Capcom is pretty unwilling to kill off characters for any of their franchises. The main characters, I should say. Of their franchises, so, uh... Which is kind of understandable, considering how iconic they are for the brand, but, uh... I don't know, it gets kind of ridiculous seeing, like, Chris, Jill, you know, all these people get into all these fights all the time, like, get into these crazy situations, and they never die. They never even, like, it, like, it's like they never do anything else with their lives. They just fight zombies all the time. Like, come on, like, um, Resident Evil Revelations had the gal to seriously suggest, like, oh, someday Chris and Jill might bang. Like, motherfuckers, they've been, um, they've been working together for 20 years, right? It, it's never going to happen. This Capcom isn't going to let it happen. Right, here we go. Right, here we go. Um, just like Leon is never going to bang Ada or Claire. It, it's just like... I don't know. The characters are like 40 at this point, and it still hasn't happened. Yeah, this is definitely a, uh, a bummer of playing this game on normal mode. Or even kind of professional, if you know what you're doing. Uh, it's way, way too easy. Um, I, I don't know. It, it sounds weird to say that, considering how... Uh, how critical I am of uh, Resident Evil Zero for being way too fucking hard, but uh, y yeah, I, I guess I'm just really, really good at action games and not very good at traditional survival horror, which is, uh, I, I guess I'm a casual, a Resident Evil casual. I, I don't understand. The dog just disappears. Like, I, I think if you take longer, he does something. I, I don't think he ever dies, though. The dog just shows up out of nowhere, and then it disappears. I, I am just, where is the dog? I don't understand, uh, okay, why the dog would be introduced and then d doesn't become, like, a main character. Okay, the dog, uh, Resident Evil 4, uh, dog edition. The dog should be a playable character in the in the remake. Oh, maybe that's something they can do with the remake, is, uh, make, give the dog its own, um, <laughs> have the dog be with you instead of Ashley. That'll, that'll make it better than the original, for sure. Uh, hang on. Let's see, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I wish I could spend like all day playing this. I really do wish I could just, uh, a binge play of this. I, I am so enamored with this. It's been only about a oh shit. That was creepy. That came out of nowhere. Is that what happened? Did that dog get infected and become one of these things? Kind of unsettling if true, but alright. Where is that? There it is. I think there's one on the other side as well. I guess I didn't see it when I came back down here the first time. The medallions. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Wait. Hang on. Let's check the map. Oh, okay. So it's behind. Wait, where is it? Oh, here we go.
Um, I don't really have much thoughts on Video Game Lover 58. I know he exists, and I know he na- hates Nintendo, but other than that... Um, His weird conspiracy, th- his weird conspiracy conspiracy video theories about me though are kind of ridiculous. Like that one where I have like a split personality. Yeah, sure, whatever. That's uh, that sounds totally believable. Oof. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, this is awesome. Da 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 da. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's this puzzle. I can't believe they seriously locked Ashley in this cur- this church and and didn't actually do anything. Uh, to uh, they didn't leave a guard. Like really, like all right, here we go. Like re- all you had to do was just not leave her with someone, anyone, and then Leon would not have been able to. I think that's all I needed to do. I think that might have been the fastest I ever did that. Usually it takes some experimentation, but I, I guess I... I guess I... I don't know, like, I guess I'm bigger brain now, because... I remember I got through that, uh, the, uh, the tourney insignia thing pretty quickly as well. Oh, thank you. Yes, I, I fixed it last night after, after I went off. I haven't tried it with any other consoles yet, though, so I might have to toy it around. Uh, if I go back to Switch, but we'll see. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Imagine what this game would be like if this was like Trump's daughter. Just uh. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. I've seen speculation that Ashley was based off like George W. Bush's daughter. Or one of his daughters, and uh, that that makes uh, quite a bit of sense to me, actually. Playing manual three. Yep, I uh, Ashley and game over. Leon has failed his mission. If Ashley is either killed or carried away by the enemy, I I think I've only ever had Ashley carried away once in the castle, and uh, I, I think it only happens in the castle. I I've never had it happen anywhere else. To be fair, the castles where like. Um, you get in the most ridiculous situations with her. I I would say, she's not with you very often in the uh, the island, is she? If I'm remembering correctly, uh, I mean I could be wrong about that. Oh yeah, I gotta catch her. I don't know why she doesn't just climb down the ladder. All right. I'll take the girl. Who are, Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. Uh-uh. <laughs> so we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she... Sadler is so entertaining. Oh, no. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up. So they still have to pay taxes? <laughs> Oh, I believe I forgot to Yes, they can literally brainwash people, but they still need money. Oh, man. I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, 
You will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you will do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. Oh no, they have crossbows! Oh no, what am I gonna do? What would they have done if they hit Ashley there? Okay. All right, whatever. Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess. We can get out of it. I love how the game acts like they're like they got away, but they're right there. They're still in the same building. All right. Uh, but okay. I think if you go back in, you can fight those guys. Um. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to see it? Um. Yeah, Sadler is uh, mysteriously gone in between chapters, but you can't go back and fight him, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm really curious as to how, how they're going to remake this. I, I really think it's just going to be um, just the same thing, but with better graphics and... Uh, Maybe some more content. I I can't imagine them doing them doing a serious overhaul like they did with the. Oh shit! Yeah, I knew it. I knew they had. So yeah, the crossbow guys are still there, but Sadler himself is not. Uh, I guess I should heal Ashley before she dies on me. Uh, I have plenty of healing items, so it's not really a big deal. I don't know where this wagon even came from. It's not here when you come up here, but okay. It's a neat way to kind of show you that Ashley uh, can be helpful in her own way. Like That's one of the things I like about her. She does feel like an actual character you have to protect. Like, it's probably one of the best escort missions in video games. The entire thing is an escort mission, but uh, you are protecting her, but she's uh, able to sort of uh, not necessarily take care of herself, but sort of rely on you. She doesn't do anything stupid. Like she's always right there, uh, and if you're do if you're doing the right thing, uh, she'll be fine, um, which makes it feel really rewarding. Which again, uh, she does everything she's supposed to do. She's a great character, uh, gameplay wise, I should say. Story wise, she's just sort of there. Um, honestly, I've noticed uh, not a lot of people are really pushing for her to make a return to the series. I was thinking it might be interesting for, for her to come back, you know, graduate college with, like, a PhD or something in, like, uh, virology, and then, like, uh, contribute to the effort against uh, bioweapons, but that's just me. Uh, go claim your specialized gun in the buy screen. Don't worry about money. This one's on the house. Okay, so Red 9. Uh, wait, no. Which one is better? Why would I ever get the Punisher? Like, the, the Red 9 is clearly way better. Uh, alright. I think I'm gonna get all the medallions, and then, uh... And then get the gun for that, um, before I make a decision on what gun I want to get. I honestly don't remember what gun I normally get. Uh, but, alright. I want to say it's the one you get when you get all, all 15 medallions, but I don't think so. I think it might be the Red 9, actually. Uh, here we go. Um... Like, I, I don't remember what the guns are actually called. I just remember... Okay, get the best gun at, like, get the best gun you can get at a certain point in the game, and then just use that until you can get the best gun, and then upgrade that one. That's, that's my strategy. Um, oh, shit. I did not see that bear trap. Wow. All right, uh. I think I let myself get in a bad position. Alright. 
Uh, whoops. Actually, uh, hang on. Oh, wow. Damn! Uh, wow, that's, uh... This is the worst position I've been in in a while. Holy shit, I have no idea what I just did. Alright. Uh... Do I have a first aid spray? No? How embarrassing. Alright. Oh, did I shoot Ashley? Oh, no! Damn! Alright, uh... Let's just pretend that didn't happen. I completely forgot you can shoot Ashley. Uh, all right, okay. Cause like she's usually behind you, and I usually don't let them touch her. So uh, yeah, all right. Oops, shit. So, that was, a, that was a fine mess I got it myself into. I forgot about the bear trap. I forgot you can shoot Ashley. I forgot that guy comes in from behind you. All right. Because there, there isn't a whole lot here. You just have to get through this hallway here. And I somehow messed that up. All right. Oh, damn. Damn! Again? It's dark! I can't see shit! Alright. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I'm really, uh... I'm really getting careless. Alright. Uh, wow. Yeah, I, I legitimately can't see those. See, I, yeah, maybe it's my settings or something. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever had this problem before. Uh. All right. There we go. Got him. Yeah, I guess I. Uh, oof. Yeah. I, I am much better at the game when I, Ashley's not around, but, uh I mean, you, you have more to worry about, I guess. Oof, alright, here we go. Uh, oh, here we go. Hi. Hide. Let me take care of things from here, Ashley. So Ada's already been fucking with them before you even get here. So is Ada the real hero of the story? Like, I don't get why they didn't have uh, Ada's uh, campaign, like, an alternate storyline to begin with. Why they, like, uh, made it some half-ass, like, expansion for the PS2 version. Like, just put it in the original. Like, what's the big deal? Uh, and, and expand on it. Like, make it a full game where you go through a lot of the same areas again. Yeah, you sort of do that anyway in separate ways, but, uh... I don't know. I think they could have expanded it a lot more. I don't think I like sacred, uh, separate ways nearly as much as the base game. I mean, for good reason, um, but... I don't know. Resident Evil is known for having multiple player playable characters, so... Uh, here we go. Hopefully there are more bear traps. I, I'm pretty sure there are, but... Yeah, just come in the room. I'll, I'll shoot you all. Oh, 
there are bear traps. I knew they were there. Okay. I think it's the lightning strikes. They're throwing me off. All right. I don't really know what the deal with that is. All right. Ah, uh, yes, taking a break, uh, <laughs> fighting, fighting the infected to uh, shoot targets. That's uh, that's Leon for you. I mean, this village doesn't look like it can hold that many people, and yet you're always blasting these uh, th these same group of people. Like, you know, you have to kill like a couple of hundred people in the village alone, right? The village section, right? It's the assuming there are like ten people per area, there are like about twenty areas. Yeah, about two hundred people, maybe. That, that's just an estimate, but but around that much. Uh, I don't think it's big enough to hold that many people. Like, I would I would suggest maybe a quarter of that. Like 50 at the absolute most. And there are no children either. Which, of course, I think is explained uh, in the deep lore of this game. But uh, uh, they killed them all because they're useless. Uh, here we go. Like, I, I think the plaga, the uh, the parasite can't infect the, uh, can't infect children, if I remember correctly. Or, or they can't necessarily do anything uh, uh, of value, I don't know, to the group. I don't know what the uh, exact explanation is, but I think you see kids in like the uh, the uh, the credits. Here we go. Oops. I wanted to kill the parasite, not knock him off the edge. All right. Uh. Hang on. Shit. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get all the targets. Yeah, just to get them. It's been... Oh, right, here we go. There he is. Let's see. I think there's one up here. I think you go in and turn around. Am I correct in... No? Uh, wait, where is it? Oh, no. Where is the medallion? Right. Did I get all the enemies? Can I call that Ashley now? Oh, well, I went the wrong way. Uh... I guess I need to check my map, because I have no idea where anything is. All right. Oh, I, I think it's in the tree back here. There's a... Uh, no? I don't think I've ever had this much trouble finding them, and they're not hard to find. There it is. All right. Well, I'm struggling with basic shit right now. I have no idea what's up with that. All right. I think I got them all, so I'll just... Uh, You can tell by the music, but I'm just like, wait a minute. I mean, there can't be that many of them left, so... It probably won't be a big deal when I... I just, here we go. When they do show their ugly faces. And I do mean ugly. Alright. I think the last one is by the exit, so we're just gonna make our way over there. I don't get what this what this what this weird construction where you have to climb this ladder that can easily be moved, uh, jump out this window, go along this catwalk which has no ladder to it, uh, and then like jump down to this segment that's gated off for some reason. Like I said, the uh, the construction here makes no sense, no sense at all. All right, here we go. Yep, bear traps everywhere.
I, I guess they're Leon traps because they're not they're not set to, tra to capture bears. Alright. Ah, it's too far. The shotgun's range is just pure shit. There we go, got it. Is the cabin up next or is that a is that a while yet? I'm not in the stream. I'm about to do movie night on my Discord, and y'all are talking about me, Lamio. Dude, you're in the stream. Otherwise, you wouldn't be commenting. Like, when people call you obsessed, they mean it. Alright. Yep, it's the cabin. This is, like, the only, um... This is actually... Yep. Yo, Clay. If I remember correctly... The Red Nine, the Punisher. Wait, where's the specialized gun? Hey, what? Oh, the Punisher. That's it. Right? Hey? Well, it looks like the Red Nine is better. All right, so I guess we are getting the Red Nine. All right. Uh, kind of weird. Uh, is that old stranger? <laughs> what are you buying? The red nine. Ah, the choice of an avid gun collector. It's a nice. Ah, shit. I gotta move. I gotta organize everything. Shit. Uh. So what? Like, getting the medallions is completely pointless. Like, you can't get anything good if you... Well, good. Uh, I, I guess meaning in this context, like, better than what you can buy in the store. Um, I, I mean, I guess their stats might be different once you start leveling them up, but I, I, I do always go with the Red Nine. I, I remember now. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Punisher, stock, Red Nine. Oh, damn, do I not even have any space for that? Hang on. Uh, there we go, just barely. Yeah, first aid spray. I don't think I have any room for this. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, we actually bought something. Alright. Uh... Alright. So now we gotta take on the, uh... We gotta take on the famous cabin section, one of the most iconic moments in the entire game. Uh, only because it happened so early in, but... <laughs> So they can shoot down helicopters, but they can't kill a single guy. It's just. Uh. Got it. I, I mentioned this before, but this entire the entire premise of this game kind of kind of assumes that like the United States government is completely incompetent and can't deal with a bunch of uh, a bunch of rural Europeans. Like, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Spaniards. I don't know, Capcom always referred to these people as European when they're clearly Spanish. I, I don't understand what the, the logic behind that is, but alright. Leon! And look who it is. Small world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Like, it, it, I've never heard that expression be used before. Like, perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she? Well, you know. Don't worry. So he hits on her before realizing, before knowing she's clean or not. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. Look! Ashley, upstairs! Alright, Leon. Okay. It's game time. I've never heard anyone else use that phrase before. Ballistics. To, like, refer to big boobs. Like, I, I've never heard that. Is that, like, a Spanish thing? I, I've never heard that. Like, other than this game, I, I've never heard it more. Oh, oh, that's definitely something Capcom would have removed in the remake. That's uh, that's completely unacceptable. You can't tell a girl she has big boobs. That's completely unreasonable. Alright. 
Well, to be fair, it was kind of shitty considering the circumstances. I don't know, man. I would, I would be like pro change in that in that situation. I think if they decided to change it, I probably wouldn't care. To be honest with you, like I don't know, man. Um, I saw today someone bitching on Twitter about like Trials of Mana and how it was supposedly censored, and it, it makes me think that like, wow, I really don't respect people who get up in arms about like every little bit of a uh, change in dialogue. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think it was a. Um, I mean, there there are cases when like it makes sense to change something, and uh, I, I think this would be one of them. Um, I mean, do you really need Lewis, like, creepily hitting on, like, the 20-year-old uh, president's daughter? Well, Lewis is, probably isn't that old. He's probably, like, what, like, 28? Which is really weird. Supposedly he's supposed to be, like, a former cop, like, scientist. I don't know. Like, I don't like the idea of, like, a, a mid-30s-something, like, hitting on a 20-year-old. You know what I mean? Uh, oops. Okay, don't worry about Lewis. He can uh, take care of himself. The only thing you have to worry about is, like, shooting him, which is actually the, um, if I remember correctly, this is the big reason I, I struggle with this sec this section on a, uh, while re on, during replays, because I keep making this, cr these critical mistake of, uh, using something like the Chicago typewriter and, uh, accidentally shooting Lewis by mistake, and he can insta-kill you, so, uh, uh, don't do it. Don't fuck with Lewis, uh. Damn, what? Are you serious? That was ridiculous. Um, am I completely out of healing items? Oh, no, I have these. Uh, I completely forgot about that. I mean, this is definitely... This is like Super Metroid tier, right? You, you don't need to remake this game. And I think that's why so many people are so up in arms about the idea of it. Like, why aren't you re remaking Code Veronica? That, oh, shit, I thought that was one of them. I almost shot Lewis by mistake. Uh, well, that was close. It's a good thing he's Lewis, and... Uh, you have to, like, basically be aiming at him to hit him. Otherwise, he will avoid it, but... Uh, oops. Um... Hang on, where's my TMP? Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, Code Veronica. I would much rather be remade than this. Like, this doesn't need to be remade. Like, give it another, like, ten years. Like, really. Like, why are you remaking everything? Well, well, I'll tell you why. It's because they have nothing else in the pipeline. Like, they have to remake all their classic content. Because there's, uh... They have nothing else to look forward to. Oops. Like, they're having trouble, like, even putting out, like, a mediocre product. It's that bad. Um... Again, like, Shinji Mikami doesn't work for them anymore. They don't have a series creator working on their... The series creator working with them anymore. So they don't really have anything to uh, to show for it. All right, here we go. Look how long this thing takes to load. All right. Uh... They all get Las Plagas in this tiny, cramped space. Yeah, this is why I hate the, uh... This is why I hate the, uh... Oof. You always run out of bullets in this section. Alright, here we go. And they always get Las Plagas, and they always... Uh... You can't even really win. Like, you basically just survive until they decide to fuck off. Right, here we go. Wait, did Lewis kill them all? Wow. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Lewis, um... He somehow... He so, for some reason, he has unlimited ammo, so he'll just... He'll just hand you more if you run out. Uh, so, yeah. Le Lewis has got your back. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, yeah. Fuck. I didn't even see that. Alright. I didn't even see what that was. Alright, here we go. Uh, heal. Uh... Yeah, merge. I mean, this scene is still pretty intense, even all these years later. All right, hang on. Yeah, I might, I might as well kill these. Uh... Conveniently, these flash grenades don't affect Lewis at all. Oops. There we go. I don't remember where the game explains that the uh, the flash grenades can just kill these last plagues instantly if they're exposed to light. Um, I, I think you just figure it out naturally. So flash grenades are actually really useful for that purpose.
I wonder if that's why they don't come out during the first chapter, when it, that takes place during the day. Because they don't want to be exposed to sunlight. Are there? All right. Just... I love how he asked that immediately after getting grabbed himself. Like, Lewis, take care of yourself. Like, stop worrying about me. There we go. Just, I was wondering. I was just thinking it was taking a bit too long to get through. Uh. Looks like, Looks they're, like they're backing off. off. So, what do we do now? Bridge I crossed to get here is out, so I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. <laughs> oh, what do we do now? Oh, I'm just gonna split up again. Ugh. Again, like make it e if you make it easier on yourself, Lewis. Like you don't need to go off by yourself. Like Lewis might not have gotten axed off if he actually just stuck with Leon. It just, ugh. I mean, ugh. I mean, I mean, maybe if moving in a group, it would make things a bit more difficult than it needs to be, but... Again, uh, if Lewis didn't... Lewis didn't spend so much time dicking around... Uh, yeah, it's not in... Yeah, it, it's not too late, but, uh, I'm not sure when the next save point is, so I, I think I'm going to have to stop now, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, it sucks, but, uh... Ugh. Damn, I was really enjoying this, too. Well, at least I got through the cabin. I met Ashley. Uh, here we go. I don't get why these... Oh, so the two, so he's describing the two routes. So, like, you actually get to choose which path you get to take. Uh, and, uh, it, and it'll be next time when I uh, get back to doing it. Um, I guess I'll just play a Wii U game, like a, a downloadable game. Um, no, maybe not. I, I guess I could just sign off. Ugh. I mean, I'd love to keep playing, but I gotta be going here soon. Uh, I don't really feel comfortable <laughs> continuing to play when, like, I have places to, places to be. Uh, alright. Hmm. Yeah, so Resident Evil 4 still holds up. Um, phenomenal that that's still as entertaining as it is. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'll continue Resident Evil 4 tomorrow. Hopefully. And, um...